What's up, Fox Trotters? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, hello. It's so nice to see you all again. You guys look great. So today we're gonna do a surprise, surprise, r slash anti MLM video. <laughs> but it's gonna be a little bit of a mishmash. I'm gonna include a little bit of everything, but there is also some r slash Lulano uh, kind of speckled in there because it's so funny to me, I can't help it. And I also checked up on the r slash MLM recovery subreddit and found a post from there that I think was pretty interesting. So I also included that in this video as well. So if that sounds interesting to you or something you'd like to see, then please stay tuned. <laughs> I'm, no, come on. <laughs> that looks like something you would put on a little girl, like a little four-year-old girl would look so cute in that outfit. You know what I mean? Like that's how you dress little kids. You put leggings under the dress because you want to put your kids in dresses because dresses are cute, right? But then they're running around and like flashing the world. So you put leggings on so they can go around those monkey bars and like, hey, it's fine, whatever. But I just, the sad part is, you know that it's like a 40 year old woman advertising this outfit. <laughs> oh, oh good. It says uh, apparently on Facebook, it was um, listed as no exchanges and no returns. Oh, <laughs> well way to sweeten the deal. <laughs> so not only can you look like your child, but if you don't like it, you cannot get your money back. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> um, well, I guess if if you don't like it and you were trying to exchange it you could just give it to your to your kid <laughs> but even then honestly you could go to target or walmart or goodwill and find stuff cuter better cheaper like if you really wanted to buy lularo for your kid which don't do that but if you really wanted to like you could just go to goodwill there's so much of it there now anymore <laughs> it's like at every thrift store and consignment store in goodwill it's all over reddit it's hilarious <laughs> and also really sad Oof, we're hitting the ground running today, folks. <laughs> I need some suggestions. My 16-year-old son is a pain in every nerve I have. Super moody, angry, lazy, sneaky, defiant, knows everything, etc. I know, typical teenager, but I was a teenage girl once and never remember being this bad with my mom. He refuses to use the oils I give him, the soaps I provide, even the supplements I suggest he use. He tells me he prefers the chemically laden store-bought stuff and wants nothing to do with these oil things. I sneak oils into his foods, spray his room, pillow when not looking, put them on his clean laundry, even rub oils on myself before I touch him to get oils on him. I need help with what oils I should use. Apparently, I'm not using the right ones. Do the same oils that help with female hormones help with teenage boys? What would you suggest? Thanks. Well, what I would suggest, uh, what I would suggest would be owning up to the fact that you have a normal teenager and that maybe you're having a hard time dealing with it as a parent. That sounds like a really normal story. I feel like everybody who's had a teenager goes through this time where they're like, did I give birth to a child or a spinning head vomit spewing demon? Like, <laughs> that's just what happens. And in fact, my dad has said the same thing. I was a sweet child, I became a teenager, and I literally turned into the exorcist girl. Like, it just, it just happens, okay? You know, we go through it, we get over it. It just, <laughs> it is what it is. And it just sounds like, as an adult, you're having a hard time uh, coming to terms with the fact that your, t your child is a teenager and no longer wants to deal with your stuff and no longer listens to everything you say, right? That's what teenagers do. They're forming their own opinions about the world, their worldviews and whatever. So it's like, he doesn't want what you are telling him he needs because that's really normal. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, lady. Like, uh, Stop rubbing oils on your kid without telling him. That's really bad. And, and you shouldn't be putting oils in people's food anyway. That's also really bad. Stop doing that. That You, you can make someone very, very, very sick. Um, yeah, so instead of being sneaky and going around the bush and lying to your son, maybe sit down and have a conversation with him about, uh, you know, maybe why he's feeling these th ways about you. And then, and then if you stop rubbing oils on him for five minutes, he might try to talk to you. You could try that. I don't know. Just a thought. <laughs> just a thought. Ah, yes, that moment where the hun just does not get the hint. <laughs> Look at that. Unbelievable. So the original post goes all the way back to seven weeks ago, and it's the same. Invited you to join the closed group, Triple A Nails by so-and-so. 
and then they did it again a week later, and then 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 seven minutes ago. <laughs> and I was reading the um, comments below, and the OP actually had said that they had specifically denied uh, the invitation, and it even said on their record, on their on their Facebook, they had denied it every time, and then the person still re-invited them every single time. It's incredible. <laughs> just don't take the hint, just keep sending it, because maybe they'll accidentally click OK. You know, like those surveys they put out on Snapchat or, or Instagram, and you accidentally, you know, will say something like, do you want to hear about my oils? And you accidentally bump yes instead of no, and then they're like, yay! Because any of that activity is good for them, any traffic is good traffic. Speaking of traffic, a bunch of you said that even if you thumbs down that LuLaRoe video I was talking about yesterday, the one that they posted um, even if you thumbs down it that it's gonna go into the algorithm as like getting attention so uh, I'm gonna take back my statement don't thumbs down it don't do anything ignore it you never saw it I shouldn't have mentioned it it doesn't exist <laughs> okay this one took me a few minutes to figure out what was actually going on <laughs> but that's just me <laughs> okay so we'll read the words first I ordered this last night after dinner and then I got an Instagram notification and noticed that I had hit 10,000 fans, which is kind of a big deal in my influencer marketing world. Angel Halo, Angel Halo. Mm. So I turned this into my celebration slice. Okay, carry on. Laugh, cry, laugh, laugh. Blah. Okay, uh, so you'll see, I know that they highlighted it in red, but I, I underlined and circled it in purple just as well. So there was just, <laughs> it made it more obvious because apparently I didn't notice it before. Okay, so the 10,000 fans, right? That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of people following you. That's quite a bit. But then you look at the pictures, they're only getting 45 likes, right? Okay, so it turns out that this chick is doing what apparently a lot of people do um, in these um, social media marketing, MLM, so on. They uh, buy this program that's $39 a month usually, and that gets them... Uh, followers it gets them fans whether or not the, see, they're, they're not real fans obviously or or is it I don't know do they just randomly sub people like I don't quite understand how all of that works other than they're not real because clearly if you have 10,000 fans you're gonna be getting a lot more than 45 likes on your stuff that's just the reality um, if you have 10,000 fans if you do and they are real fans and they only only 45 of them liked it well then that means you're clearly doing something wrong if that is the case which it is not the case because those fans don't exist at least not in the traditional sense <laughs> yeah it's just kind of a weird tactic it's just such a lie it just adds to that whole bravado you know the the delusion of grandeur the just the delusion in general it just adds it adds to that whole pile of just fakeness everything is so good i'm so successful except i'm not <laughs> <laughs> Here we have more careless hunting with some really good copy pasta. So these are two different MLMs uh, from two different Facebooks. The one on the left is a pure romance consultant seller. I don't know. <laughs> the one on the right is a plexus person. So I don't know if you can tell, but they're exactly the same. I mean, the, besides changing out a couple of the emojis, it looks like they rearranged some of the paragraphs. But I mean, it's the same. It's the same wording. They even have the same punctuation. They have et cetera's in the same spot. <laughs> it's just so careless. Um, <laughs> and then of course, like they, I, I, they got cut off at the bottom, but they have their super generic, you know, like pump you up posters. Be fearless. If not now, when? Just uh, calm down. If, if it was so good, if all this is so good, then why do you have to copy pasta everything? Why are you why are you using the same word someone else said? Why do you have the same amount of O's in your so? Like, why did you do that? <laughs> I don't know. I just really think that a lot of these people either um, assume that everyone else is really dumb or they've just bought it so much that they just, like, can't believe that their company could make such a faux pas. Uh, all it would have taken was like a really quick like Google search, you know, type that, that into Google and it would have probably bounced back all of the places where it existed at originally. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's just really funny. Uh, it's almost as good as when the Huns send out their, uh, their like MLM invitations. <laughs> so and so, like they'll send out their hooks, 
their fishing line to someone and they'll leave in the brackets that have like insert name here or like uh, insert reason why you joined blah 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 make it emotional <laughs> those crack me up and this is this is practically as good as that <laughs> got 99 problems on this outfit is one yeah that's one of you have more than 99 problems and just in this picture alone i can tell you that <laughs> oh no oh i like her unicorn uh, bust on the wall that's cute everything else is bad though <laughs> um the combination of the shirt and leggings just says to me i give up <laughs> <laughs> no it looks like there's like cows or something on the leggings i should have zoomed up maybe they're elephants oh i think they're elephants yeah okay and then she's got a button-up shapeless blouse lularoe and their shapes of their clothing is just <laughs> horrific i mean i don't even think they try i think they literally just sew some crap together and send it out. They're like, oh, you wanted this to be a small? Well, nope, it's a one size fits all today. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's a pattern mixing special right there. Oh God, that's so bad. <laughs> I hope she at least didn't leave the house in that outfit. Unfortunately, she probably did though, right? Because part of the marketing is you have to go out into the world. So she probably went out and did her grocery shopping or something or picked up the kids and that. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. Actual unironic post from a lip sense hun on her fourth MLM. My God. Okay. Good Lord, Instagram is full of Beachbody coaches. I literally have liked a few mom's posts and then they send me a DM about if I'm on a fitness journey. This is what gives MLM a bad rap. Hashtag bad business. Hashtag not sorry. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that she must have been part of Beachbody at one point based on the fact that she's now on, on lip sense, but it's her fourth MLM. Like, hmm, she's kind of talking like someone who knows, but who clearly didn't learn their lesson. <laughs> Just went from one MLM to another. And I think it's so funny, the gatekeeping. It's like, oh, what Beachbody does and how they do it is so bad, but this one is great. This MLM is so good. Like, no, you're in the same category. You can try to separate yourself, but no, you're the same. Sorry, lip sense huns might not go on DMs and be like, I'm on a fitness journey for my lips or something, I'm sure. But I, I bet they have plenty of other crappy tactics that they do that uh, are definitely give reason for why MLMs have a bad rap. <laughs> so ridiculous. After multiple ignored no's on LinkedIn, I think I may have figured out a way to shut this hun down. Oh, goody, do tell. No worries. Feel free to reach out in the future. I can help you with any networking. Wishing you a wonderful week. Hello? I know what I'm doing isn't a fit for you, and that's totally cool. Wanted to give you an update that might be beneficial to your network. We recently received the CEW 2019 Beauty Award for Bath and Body Prestige. Do you know anyone that would like to look younger without a visit to the dermatologist? If not, no big deal. No thank you. My friends are beautiful just the way they are. Brava! I love that no one had to get insulted and you just like, boom. Like, I'm done. No. My friends look great. They do not need any of your ridiculous skincare. And also, I like how <laughs> the hun was like, I know you said that this wasn't a fit for you, but did you hear we recently got this award that we just made up? <laughs> the CEW 2019 Beauty Award for Bath and Body Prestige. Like, <laughs> Maybe I should Google that. Like, is that even a thing that matters? Probably not. I'm going to assume not. But I just, <laughs> I love how they just completely come in out of left field. Like, I know you said you didn't like this, but did you hear about this? Like, I still am not interested. <laughs> so two days ago, an old friend messaged me, again, about his weird MLM and web trainings for said MLM. I told him firmly if he spoke to me about it again, I would block him and cut my losses. He apologized and agreed. Today, his girlfriend, who I've never met, messaged me again about this whole thing. Why? <laughs> Why? Because dollar signs, my dude. Because they saw dollar signs, or at least what they thought were dollar signs. It's like when you're in the desert and you think you see a beautiful dancing woman in the distance holding like a bucket of water and you're like, oh, yay. Uh, and then you get there and it's just a giant cactus. <laughs> 
that's like what money is like in an MLM. You see it, but once you get to where you think it's going to be at, it's not there anymore because it was never there. <laughs> Okay, so we got this big long message. Oh my word. Okay, so they just sent. Obviously, that's just a copy pasta thing that they just sent over. It's one of those blurbs they're supposed to send out. Okay, it's got times for like a meeting on there. Life Vantage Overview. Okay, so Life Vantage is the name of the company then. Or is it invited to a Zoom webinar? Okay, this is so confusing. Oh, it, okay, Life Vantage is the name of the. MLM. All right. We are looking forward to serving you each and every week. Same time. Okay. Great. Great. That's so weird. Oh, okay. And then the right column, you can see the OP finally responds back to that giant message uh, with simply the John Oliver video on YouTube, uh, his video about multi-level marketing, which is really good. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. It's worth a laugh. Pretty funny. Uh, but the Hun responds, wow, clearly she's not happy with that. <laughs> The world thrives on negative and ignorance, my dear lovely human. Certainly serves to empower and enforce my growth. I'm not bound or defeated by any no or response I receive at all. Thank you for being a vehicle for that growth, and we sure hope you are doing wonderfully. That is so rude. What a message. Potato pyramid scheme. I've already said no to multiple times. <laughs> Potato pyramid scheme. Goodness, let me gladly remove you from Facebook. Bye now. Like, yeah, girl, like... It's, it's amazing. I like how the Hunbot acts so surprised that this person still doesn't want anything to do with this. Like, did she not communicate? Ooh, that makes me wonder. Did she not talk to her boyfriend? Like, did she just go through his contacts and started contacting people? Or did she, like, talk with him first about it? This is so interesting. Either way, <laughs> I, uh, I think it's funny how clearly offended the Hunbot got with that very dramatic response about how the world thrives on negative and ignorance, blah, blah, blah. Like... Okay, it sounds like, I don't know, one in glass houses should not cast stones type of a situation, perhaps? I don't know. Either way, <laughs> yeah, definitely remove those people from Facebook. I think after the 12th no, that's probably about time to go ahead and remove them. Mm -hmm. This is the post actually from r slash MLM recovery, so I'm excited to bring this here today, and it is a Monet one, so goody goody. Bitten by the Monet bug, recovered in a week's time. I lasted a week. It took months for the Hun to get me to sign up. I was exceptionally skeptical as usual with these types of companies. The products were decent after a few trials, but the online searches sent me screaming. Pictures of children losing clumps of hair, bald patches, and skin blistering. The company claims that their products are hypoallergenic, and then go on to say that their products are not for everyone, lol. They say there's no pressure to sell and that the products sell themselves. They say it's not a pyramid scheme, but then hound you to sign up new downlines. They say a lot of things and then in practice, do the opposite. They have a series of training videos that are such a waste of time, I want to send them a bill for the amount of life I wasted on them. I packed up all of the products and shipped them back for a full refund, so satisfying, and the post office informed me that they got a lot of people returning the stuff. I sipped and tasted the Kool-Aid, but turned and spit that crap right back out, then went back to work and breathed a sigh of relief that I didn't have to push people into buying this crap. Some people are getting nice looking hair as a result, but the long term effects in the body won't be present until all these guinea pigs have been using this stuff for years. At $50 per bottle, that could be some serious retirement nest egg contributing. Keep your money. You don't need $50 shampoo. Yeah, uh, I agree with all of that. That's wonderful. Yeah, you do not need $50 shampoo. I mean, if you want to spend $50 on shampoo, that's fine, I guess. Do you. But get stuff that does not have tons of studies of people losing their hair and getting blistered scalps. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Go to Sephora. I'm sure they have some expensive shampoo you could waste your money on if you really feel like wasting your money without hurting yourself. Does that make sense? Um, but yeah, I'm glad it only lasted a week and it, it is funny that the hun took months trying to get you to sign up and then <laughs> you were only in it for a week, so good for you. Um, yeah, good. Oh, you got a refund. I'm really happy about that. I feel like with a lot of these MLMs, you don't often hear that, that people get their money back. So this sounds like a little bit of a, of a big time win-win. Well, I don't think Monet won anything, but the person won. The person won everything. Winner takes all. <laughs> She posted this to our high school class page. I'm embarrassed for her. 24 Mary Kay items sold in 24 hours. Challenge accepted. 
Help me blow up this month's end. What a weird turn of phrase. Blow up this month's end. Every little order helps. Try a lip gloss or mascara. The eye makeup remover is magic and everything is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting my pink dreams. Message me or your MK gal to order. Well, of course, they're 100% satisfaction guaranteed from Mary Kay. Of course, that's what the company's gonna say. <laughs> um... Okay, so she accepted some challenge where she has to sell 24 items in 24 hours and is now on her high school's class page attempting to get them to buy lip gloss or mascara. <laughs> oh, no. Do you think any of the teachers or, like, the principal ever goes on, like, the class pages to just kind of see what's happening and then see stuff like this and just gets, like, depressed? You know, like, oh... Oh no, all that work for nothing. <laughs> um, I hope nobody from her high school bought anything. Uh, it's definitely crappy that Mary Kay has captured someone so young <laughs> um, and who is now trying to sell to others who are younger. So that's great. I love these morals and ethics. It's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, who wore it better? Yeah, I'm going to definitely go with the Arizona iced tea. Yeah, definitely wore it better. <laughs> oh, Deanne, Deanne, Deanne. She's really been pushing these, uh, what are those called? Jumpers? Rompers? A onesie? I don't know. The one outfit where it's a whole thing. The whole outfit is just one piece of fabric, <laughs> which I'm sure the LuLaRoe designers probably love because the less cuts and cinches and seams they have to make, the better. So why, why not just make it all one big piece? Oh, good. And then she added in, uh, what is this? Some sequin coat on top because metallic is a neutral or something. Is that a thing? Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I just love that her outfit looks exactly like the iced tea can. <laughs> oh, I used to drink that so much back in my young days. Oh, so much. <laughs> it's like, I'll never look at that can the same again. Every time I see that can at 7-Eleven, I'm going to think of Deanne and her onesie. <laughs> and of course, uh, Herbalife with the most confusing and ill-placed Venn diagram I've ever seen. <laughs> What? What? Okay, so the orange circle is poor nutrition. Yellow circle is the aging population, and underemployment is the green circle. And in the middle, all three of those things become Herbalife. <laughs> I don't think that they understand what Venn diagrams are. <laughs> okay, so we got all that overlap, and then in that center area where the poor nutrition, the aging population, and the underemployment all meets at one point is where Herbalife exists. <laughs> I don't think they quite understood that. Three global mega trends. Okay, so are they, so they're trying to say Herbalife. Well, this is what they're trying to say, but they're not doing a good job because they don't know how to use a Venn diagram proper, properly. But, but what I think what they're trying to say is that Herbalife will get rid of you, the lack of employment, it will fix your poor nutrition, and it will stop your aging process. <laughs> God, this company gets more and more ridiculous. Their claims get more and more ridiculous every time. <laughs> I just love the misuse of this Venn diagram. It's just fantastic. <laughs> All right, it's time for wholesome moment of the day. Let's see who you guys sent over. First up, we have Molly Weasley, and this was sent over by Jamie. Thank you so much, Jamie, for sending this over. And Molly was a stray and then lived in a shelter for a few months before finding her forever home with Jamie. And as you can see, Molly is now Jamie's co-pilot. Thank you so much for sending this over. Next up, we have a twofer. We have Bob and Foxy, and this was sent over by Pamela. Thank you so much, Pamela. So Bob is the Siamese with the blue eyes you see sitting there, and he was actually a stray that lived within the feral cat community and had a really rough life in that uh, he was beaten and starved, and it's just pretty unfortunate, but he looks great now. And then Foxy, obviously, I love that name, and look at her face. That is such a great expression. Um, but Foxy got her name because Pamela's husband actually saved her from being hunted by a fox. So, uh, cute name, but also, wow, what a story. And I'm so happy that they have the two of you to uh, keep them safe. 
So thank you so much, Pamela, and to your hero husband for rescuing these two cuties. Last but not least, we have our first visitor of the equine species. We have Mouse, and this was sent over by Emily. Thank you, Emily. First of all, I love the name Mouse for a horse. Super cute. And Mouse was actually saved from being killed and turned into dog food. Um, and even though I love dogs, I also love horses, and I believe we can all find a happy medium without including horse meat. Is that just me? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much, Emily, for sending this adorable photo. I love to see a cute horse photo now and then. So wonderful. I love, if anyone's wondering, do I accept different animals other than dogs and cats? Absolutely. I've had turtles. I'd love to feature if you got cool birds, if you have more horses, if you have farm animals, if you have a pet spider, like it's cool. Let me see. I'd love to see them. Whoever you love, we love. And if you're looking to get a new member of your family, I definitely recommend to adopt not shop. Check out your local shelters, your local humane societies. Donate if you can. Volunteer if you can. And don't forget to spay and neuter your pets. And if you would like to see a photo of your pet here, then go ahead and send it to my email in my channel description, and you will see them here eventually. All right, Fox Trotters, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked that video, please hit that like button down below. If you have any good comments or suggestions, please leave that down below as well. I love to read your comments. I love interacting with you all. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button and become a Fox Trotter. Come join the den. Den Mother would love to have you. Also, please feel free to check out my Patreon, which I will link here somewhere. And if you don't want to check out my Patreon, that is also just fine. I'm honestly just glad you're here spending time with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video because I sure did. I really just genuinely enjoy making these videos. Every second of this channel has been really fun. I am really glad that I started this and that I found all of you. You guys are just really rad. Um, and, I, and I love coming on here and laughing, knowing that you will be somewhere laughing later, wherever you are in your day. And that just really fulfills me. Um, even when I'm working my long days at my job or I'm trying to get my school stuff figured out or just whatever's going on, the dogs are going crazy, you know, I just truly genuinely enjoy doing this. And thank you all so much for giving me the opportunity to be on here and to blab in a way that you all have to hear me now. So <laughs> thank you so much. And as always, folks, until the next video, take care.